What's up guys, it's Callum here from Callum Zoom Videos and in today's video I am going to be zooming in on Titanic, well Titan mostly Olympic photographs actually so let's try rephrasing that, so it's zooming in on Olympic photographs and having a look at some uh, closer details that we might not have noticed so I've got my first photograph here and what I notice it along the top, if we zoom back a bit, there's vents now, could this column have potentially been for ventilation? Maybe. Because we don't see any other vents. I mean, not even, like, in this corner here. So it could have been. Now, this is the electric fireplace for the Olympic. Um, I will admit this photo ain't that great. But what appears is there's, like, a four-light central system, actually. So four smaller lights. Two here two here and then in the middle one bigger light and it would appear that's the same here as we can see um i like this um detail here interesting um let's go have a look at another one okay so this one is of a suite so it would appear as though actually then you can lock this drawer because if we look, there's a key. The duvet here is called an Eiderdown. Now, oh, why is this carpet crinkled? Does this mean the carpet wasn't, like, nailed down, perhaps? Oh, look, an old socket. So that must mean, then, somewhere around here was a lamp. Also, there would uh, have been a stool there. Now, is this an under cabinet? Interesting. Um... Looks like this door could be locked, as well as this one. Um, I like these light fixtures, actually. Um, what else is there? What could this be for? I reckon this chair would be here. I like the ID dams, though. Um, what else is there that we can see? There is pretty de um, detailings along the door. I also noticed how uh, they've kind of made a door frame for this double door. Instead of two separates. I like that little detail actually. Um, but I can't see any other detail. So um, let's go and have a look at another one. Now this one ain't going to work. Let's go and have a look at this one. So this is a. This is actually on Titanic I do believe. It's a modern Dutch. Now straight away. I notice how there are two light fixtures. To illuminate this. Pretty interesting. A pretty flat light fixture. Now what appears to me is Lincroster here. Um, essentially it's like linoleum but like with embossing in. Also unlike the previous suite. The Eider Downs are tucked in here. Instead of being loose. Okay and there's also a balance there. No, I'm, I'm presuming, perhaps, that by this chair, like, there was a desk. I like these arches. I think they might be gothic wisteria arches. Now, what is through this door? I'd like to know. Are these cabin notices, I wonder? Hmm. Royal Dalton Tap Sings. I feel like I've seen these taps in one of my homes before, actually. Possibly me old parent, me um, old na me nan and granddad's old house actually. Now the lights seem to attach here. Interesting. Is this a joint here? Hmm. Also, I, I, I wonder if they attach this beaming after, because the linoleum look just runs through it. Looks it to me. Now if we look in the reflection we can't see anything. The carpet doesn't look crinkled actually. Hmm. Nothing too exciting to see here. I do like this though. And let's go and have a look at our next photo. This one's a bit blurry so we'll do that maybe later. Okay so we've got another suite. I straight away noticed a lot of vent. And one of those lights that was in that vanity thing, followed by a slightly fancier light, actually. Um, 
I also noticed small link cluster here actually. Now I do believe through here was a actually you know what we can have um, let's have a look. So we're looking at a B deck suite. A wardrobe room then. Actually what style is this? I think this might be a modern Dutch maybe. But regardless, that is a wardrobe room then. Followed by an adjoining cabin in here. And possibly an adjoining cabin cabin there. This cabin also has an Eiderdown, which is basically a fancier type of bedding, which are really expensive. Again, the carpet's loose. But I'd say it's really filthy. Hmm. I wonder how they hoovered the carpet actually. I know some form of vacuum did exist during then. I also noticed this type of wood trellising that goes all the way around the room actually. And a fold out netting. But what's this? So I've got an itchy mirror. Nah. Also, is, it, is that a plug socket on the door? Or perhaps a stopper? Hmm. Let's have a look at these deck plans. So, with this photo, there's a covered, this, we're looking at this door. There was then a door here and a door here, but there wasn't a door there. Okay. But on the rest of them, there was. Actually, it could have been a Georgian. Doubt it's a Louis. Right, let's have a look at this picture. Okay, so another one of Olympics Lounge. Yeah, this confirms. Actually, now I had a slightly different style by the looks of it. One, two, three, and then the bit here and one in the middle. Interesting. Now, again, I notice all the carpets kind of crinkled, actually. What are these for, though? Hmm. It's really hard to look at grainy photos on this. Because what the computer does is it blurs it. Now, I was trying to notice... These ain't real flames actually. These, this is like an electric candle lamp. Interesting. I'd have thought in 1912 it might have been real fire. Now, it has got techie carpet. And it's also got brass end strips instead of rubber strips at the end. Like on Britannic and Olympic later in a career. Which tells me that, as, as well as assuming by all this dust. That this is, was possibly taken during her fitting out. Or doing one of her refits. Now I can't see anything else. But I do like this. Also there's no like wiring visible. I would guess it goes through one of the feet. But we really can see that the carpet was techy. Interesting. Alright let's go and have a look at this. One sec. Right I'm back. Sorry for that. So, what do we notice here then? So, I notice it's got a more regular crystal light fixture. Also, the um, light scones, this light, the wall light cover things are missing. It's also got a curved here to get to the ceiling. The fat, I can tell this is a lemon by the furniture. So, what grinds the wood going in? Can't really see. However, I do notice that this is a rug here actually. Pretty interesting, there ain't much to really see in this suite. But again, I notice against the wall, look, it's proper like crinkled. Right, so here we notice a, like, bit of detailing actually, light fixtures, which appear to plug in somewhere. Can't really tell where. Not sure what that's for. You know what, let's have a look. Um. So I've got deck plans. It's going to be one of these internal cabins, like here. I think. I would have thought so. Actually, let's have a look at the Titanic Unknown Glory deck plan symbols. And have a look for. Okay, potato peelings, I don't care. Hmm. 
I can't seem to see it, guys. Mm. But whatever that is, I don't know. Hmm. Also, look, the paneling doesn't actually go to the top of the ceiling, though. What's that common? So, if we look, this is on a bit of a tilt here. Hmm, interesting. Actually, these suites don't have ID domes, they just have standard bedding. And the standard oak beds. Interesting. Alright, let's go have a look at another photo then. Um, we'll go have a look at this one. Straight away, I noticed the carpet again, it's all crinkled. I almost feel like the, it didn't get put down, you know, like it was only like rested at points. Almost like just like treated like a rug. Now, I do quite like this wallpaper. I think this might be a coat hook actually. Or maybe you hang your hat there in two coats, maybe. Ah, oh, here's an example of why tables would now a thingy look as in James Cameron's he depicts this but look a wire has to go to every lamp so James Cameron's total rubbish at the idea that the that this dining saloon had lamps on every single table so again this suite has an idea Darren um, I like the little circular details though also, this is a chase lounge, this is. I think this might be an Empire style on B deck, I'm tempted to say. Actually, look, there's a bed in the corner of the room. Tells me, something tells me that this might be a C deck suite now. Um, let's go have a look. So I know it's an Empire style. Right, let's go up. One of these here. Might be Georgian. Ah, there is an Empire style, but it ain't the same as what we have. Hmm. Let's have a look over here. Because we're looking for one that has a, a double bed, chase lounge, and then a bed. That's the suite we're looking for. Double bed. Actually, no, I know it's on this side of the ship. Actually, no, it isn't. It is on this side, ain't Because the door. I know it ain't an Adam style. Could be French. Ain't Italian Renaissance. Oh, here's an Empire style. But it doesn't have what we are looking for. So could it be a beta cabin actually? Hmm. Interesting. Can't actually see this on Titanic on Glory deck plans. So, uh, is this something Titanic on Glory have got wrong on their deck plans? Hmm. Interesting. I do actually like to hear though, I quite like this wallpaper if I'm honest. Anyhow, let's go have a look at this one. So this is one of the lounge. But it's really going to get blurry when I zoom in. Actually, I've just noticed something. Oh, well, I'll look at this one. It's, why is it really dark in this photo, actually? Now, I know this is on the starboard side, on sea deck. And this might be French, actually. Let's have a look for this type of suite. So we know it's got Chase Lounge. Okay, let's go have a look for this style of suite. So it does have this style and it's on C deck. Oh, here's an empire. And that is the same style as, no it's not. Hmm, over here. No. I don't fully know, but well. Right, let's go and have a look for some French rooms. I know it's on this side of the ship. Ah, oh, here. No, it's this. Because double bed is up in 
and this photo, double beds up here, single, and then it's got the chase lounge up that wall. Oh, this one hasn't though. It looks like this though. Let's see if they've got it correct. Because I am very dubious of them. Not gonna lie, I am. Doesn't look like their deck plans are correct. But then again, though, this is Titanic, not Olympic. This is Olympic, not Titanic. So that could be throwing discrepancy. Oh, I really like this actually. Look. Never noticed this, but look. In this little alcove here, they've like created a little study space. I like that a lot. Again, it's got the standard Eider Downs. Yeah, I like this wallpaper actually. Now this is the old style of light switch, so like you'd press it and then turn the lights on and then you'd push it to so go dip dip and it would select press it to turn the lights off, press it to turn them on. Now that's quite interesting. Hmm. Again, actually the carpet doesn't actually look that bad other than that one crease there. Hmm. And let's have a look at this. Oh we've already looked at this. We've already looked at that. We've already looked at that. And that. And that. Um, let me go. Uh, I'll be right back. Right then, guys, I am back. Um, finally found my photo. So let's have a look at this. So, drain along here. Um, a water fountain. Quite sparse light fixtures. Now this one's missing its light bulb look. Hmm. The doors are rather short, but I can't see that being a problem in 1912, 1911. This side also has a drain by the looks of it. Hmm. This wood actually looks quite shiny if I'm honest. And what is that? Hmm. Look, they might also be filling it by the looks of things. Um, the gymnasium now. Let's have a look. So straight away, I can see I'm a Olympic and Titanic poster as well as a map. Um, electric osses. I think this might be a fuse box. Um. A heating vent to keep the gym warm. Um, I don't really know what else to say about the truth. Oh look, the linoleum pattern, sort of visible. I also like the pattern of light it reflects actually. But it looks like also it's just got the standard exposed bulb. Okay, so this is not going to be good because it's blurry as hell. So we'll go on to a different photo. This one. It's also kind of blurry. Oh, that sucks. I was hoping to use that. And this one's blurry. Oh, why are they all so small look? I might be able to use this one. Oh, we can have a look at this. So. By the looks of it, this was also electric, and I can imagine the wires went there. Now what's interesting is, look, at the bottom of these doors was vents. And this is C deck. No, this is B, this is A. So that we know this isn't the same as Titanic. And we know that the clock was not as opulent. But other than that, there's nothing else to show here. Actually, look at these lights. The ceiling carries on with the corridor. Interesting, actually. So this is Titanic, as says, as stated there. Oh look, the phone door's open. I I like this one, I and mean, we can tell it's on Olympic because of this. Um. 
possibly during a dinner service actually. Interesting. Nothing else to say. Yeah, this is the pool tile that was seen on Titanic and Olympic. Don't know why I included that, I just did. Now this one. Appears that there was some sort of rug here. It's really annoying if so many are blurry. Like, I can't use any of these. I can use this one. Now what's interesting is, look. This one. All these chairs have this sort of, like, pattern on. Hmm. Interesting. It is annoying how lots of these are blurry. Like, I can't use a lot of them. Like, I was hoping I'd be able to bloody zoom in and see stuff. Now, I know this is an alternate first or second class cabin. Because of the fact that it's got carpet. Really annoying me. Now this was taken uh, around. Um, well that's 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Taken about 55 past 11. So 11.55 I reckon. 5 to 12. Which means this was likely taken by a passenger during a voyage, actually. Yeah, there's no other details we can see on this. Now, what I've noticed here, look. There's some sort of wall panelling there. Which is, and I know what it is. On a deck, look. So, if they were to be stood here, you know, we'd see a bit here. Actually, that's a point. Why can we see that? Was well, passengers looking for the door? Again, this was taken at five eleven fifty five. Why are all photos of Olympic as eleven fifty five? Like, hmm, a bit strange. Unless it's because I can't see. Yeah then, I do like this linoleum pattern here. At least you come and got that correct. Now yeah, this is Italian Renaissance, this is. Not really one of my favourite stars, I think there's just too many lines. Now this is Olympic's boat deck. I like the lights and stuff. Oh look, a cut out. Does this indicate like the light or something? Smoke room. So one of them has a boat in. I like the linoleum here. Where's the spittoons? Uh -huh. Now then, I'm guessing this is at night, judging by the fact that all the lights are on. Now this is the ca a la carte restaurant. It's really annoying there's so many of them going blurry when I zoom in. So we've got the linoleum tile there. Other than that, there's nothing else to see. Ah, oh, here's more of the vent, actually. And look, we can see under it. So yeah, there is a vent. Yeah, I reckon it is a vent, actually. The carpet's all crinkled. There's also a coal button. Interesting. So this is the second class smoking room. Um... You can see a table in the corner. Exposed bulb lights. Yeah. And that, I think, is the bar. So this is the... So we can see a smoking room sign and a B-deck elevator sign. Which tells me the smoking room was on B-deck. That's 100% B-deck. But why have Titanic on and Glory put it on? Ah... It is on B deck. I always could have sworn they got it on the wrong deck. Okay, so they have got it correct. They also have similar chairs actually, look. Notice that pattern here. And of course similar linoleum. I think this might have not been long after departing or when they're about to depart, because look at all the rope. There's loads of it everywhere. 
interesting. So this is the sec third class dining saloon. Um, pretty sparse, but quite a nice room if I'm honest. Looks like there was loads of hooks actually to hang the coats as well. No. It is really annoying because I wanted to do a whole video on zooming in on things. And, well, we can sort of see how plating worked actually, look. So this is Olympic during the 20s. I'm hoping I don't get done for copyright. You know what, I'm going to just... Actually, let's have a look at this one and then end it. Right, well, if you did enjoy today's video, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you all for the next video. Bye for now.